Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about how to use a special little checkbox that you may have seen when you're creating a brand new company managed Jira project. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And if you find value out of this video, hit that thumbs up button. Let's jump into Jira. Okay, so in a Jira project, when you create settings such as, and let me show you real quickly, things like your workflow, things like your permissions, things like the screens, the fields, all of these different things, all these different settings here can actually be templatized. That means that when you're creating another project, you can actually base that project off of a pre-existing project. Now there are a couple of caveats and some gotchas that I want to cover and make sure that you understand. But first I'm going to show you a brief demonstration of what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to go over the try before you buy and things that you should know. So here's a typical project. I got a workflow. I don't think this is anything special. This is just out of the box. So I'm actually going to use a different project that should have a different workflow just so that I can show you what is actually happening here, okay? Here's a good one. So as you can see, this Thursday Jira class project, when I go to the workflow, you're going to notice that it is already even shared, right? So there's a diagram and this is the workflow and it's different, right? And so let's assume that I wanna carry these values, these settings over because I love this workflow. I want all my teams to use the same workflow. I want all my teams to use these same issue types. So you'll notice that I have an initiative issue type here. I want all my teams to use the same screens. So maybe I have custom fields. I have a very specific custom field that I wanna make sure maybe I have acceptance criteria, definition of done. In this case, I have a demo field, I have acceptance criteria, I have a technical team, okay? So these are all fields that I want to ensure that all of my Jira projects, at least the ones that I select, I want to make sure that they all basically look exactly the same because at this point you have two options. You can either A, do what I'm about to show you and use a, a project as a standard template or B, you can recreate everything. Now, if you're in a team managed project, you're probably used to this because the team managed projects don't talk to each other. They're very siloed. And so if you have cool stuff, cool configurations in one project and you want to replicate them in the other, you essentially have to copy everything manually. Now there is a different way. There's kind of like a way 2.5 of doing all this, right? So you could in theory, in theory, uh, I'm not sure if you wanted to do this, but in theory, you could come over here to a workflow that you like. Here's the workflow for, for that Thursday class. I can come in here and copy it, but then I would have to do the same thing for the issue types, for the screens, and for pretty much anything else that you want to copy. So you could do that, but that's a little bit more error prone. So let me show you what you should do and, and how you can do it. Now I do want to preface this. So in order to do this, this activity that I'm about to show you, basically using one project as a template, you do need to be in both projects. So if you're a site administrator and you just inherently are in every project because you're a site admin, but you're not explicitly in the people section of the project, this will not work. So you want to make sure that you are in the people section of the origin project, not, not so much the destination because you're about to create the destination, but in that origin project that you want to use as a template, you want to make sure you're in that project. So assuming you're in that project, all you got to do now as an administrator is go to projects, go to create project, and then you go through the typical uh, items here. Now, one thing to note is your boards do not get copied over. The project settings will get copied over, but not the board. We will talk in a future video about how to clone and configure your boards, but just know that this selection here is not as important because you have a lot more flexibility and later you can clone the board. But my personal preference, just to give you a spoiler for a future video, is to basically create a new board. I firmly believe that it's easier to create a new board and then reconfigure it manually than it is to copy paste. I'll talk about those reasons in a future video. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like on this one so that you can stay informed for when that video drops. Anyways, we're just gonna pick Scrum because who doesn't like to Scrum now? And everything's the same, you should pick that use template, 
we're gonna pick company manage this will not work this this is not gonna work if you do team manage so make sure you pick company manage project and so once you do that you can give it a name so we're gonna call it just a standard template demo and no I don't want an STD so I just call it standard and then you'll this is a little checkbox that I'm talking about if you look at this checkbox it says share settings with an existing project you will only be able to do this if you're not on the free version and you're on an actual paid version of Jira, which most of you are probably going to be in this boat. And most of you are probably going to be working for some company. And then this is where you would want to do this, right? Uh, if you're just a, a 10 person team on the free version of Jira, you're most likely not going to need Jira, a ton of Jira projects. So this is really for like companies that are pretty big or at least not that big, but have some multiple teams and they want different Jira projects. So anyways, you're going to click on this little share settings and now you're prompted to select the project that you want to use. I am going to use that. There's a Jira class. I'm going to click on create and then I'm going to show you what happens here. So it takes a second or two for it to load. Okay. So once it's created, you'll notice that I wasn't actually able to get in. So I got to come into the back door, which is the project settings. And I'm just not in the permission scheme for whatever reason, that permission scheme that I have. In order to browse, you need to be in one of these roles. I'm clearly not in one of those roles. So I need to come in as a site administrator, add myself to this project as an administrator, and then I'll be able to see the project. But since I'm here already, I'm going to show you that the workflow would have copied over. So now you'll notice that this project is shared. This template is shared by three projects and all of those diagrams or all of those statuses for the workflow are now here. And Everything looks fine except that board. So you do at this point need to basically determine whether you just create a new board or you copy and paste another board. Now, if you need some help with the copy and pasting and you don't want to wait, let me know so I can prioritize that video. So let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, in the next few weeks, we'll be teaching you how to clone these boards and how to associate it back to this project. But for now, I honestly do still think that it's easier to just go ahead and click on the create board and recreate a new board. It's just going to be easier in my opinion. But now I want to talk about a couple of gotchas. I want to talk to you about what could go wrong and, and why you should be careful when trying to clone this. Okay. So the first thing I want you to see is this shared by three projects. And this means that all these three projects, obviously it's, it's common sense here, share the same configuration. This is a good thing. And this can be a bad thing. This is a great thing when you're a mature organization and you just want that like boilerplate template just press them out and just hash out projects, right? They're all the same. This is bad if you don't, haven't made up your mind on what your ideal setup looks like. Because the second that one of these projects wants to take a path off the beaten path, things will go wrong. You cannot at this point make any modifications because if you make modifications, you will not just impact that one team that's using that one project you are now impacting three teams that are using three different projects. The workflow is a common occurrence of folks going, you know what, I want an extra status in my, in my Kanban board, can you just drop one in? And my usual response is uh, no, because if I do that, if I drop in another status here, I'm inadvertently adding a new status for everybody. So sometimes you don't want to do that. And the other common complaint that I get or request is on the screen site, right? So I'll get a request where I, I have a user that essentially wants a new field. Maybe they want a new definition of done. They want a new custom field. And this um, basically means that when I add a custom field to this screen, I am essentially adding that custom field to all the projects. And so sometimes that's not an intended thing that you want to do. And so this could be really bad. Uh, it's going to cause you a little bit more headache because now essentially you got to undo everything. And there's I can do a whole video on how to undo this, but it is a much more involved process that is not that trivial and you have to do a lot of divorcing in Jira in order to basically please all the snowflakes uh, requests that you get. But this is great if, again, if you have a pretty well-established process, you want everybody marching to the same beat, this is what you want to be doing. So just take that as an advice and I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, come on, subscribe. It really helps out. And if you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.